Now we're going to find the surface area and the volume of a right hexagonal prism. When you look at this question, which I pulled right off your assignment, notice that it just says surface area, but again, I'm going to do both so you have examples of, of both. So the, the surface area of the prism, uh, it, we have two hexagons and we have six sides that are rectangles. Now, these are regular hexagons, so all sides are equal in that hexagon. When we look at the base, remember that we can find this big angle in the triangle, one up here too, and over here. There, those triangles, there are six of them because there are six sides, and if I take 360 degrees and divide it by six, I get 60 degrees, which means this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and so on all the way around, which I'm looking at this bottom triangle here, makes both of those 30. So what we end up with is a 30, 60, 90. That's that one we see all the time. Remember how this length is T between the 60 and the 90. The, this is the apothem, which you might remember from area, but it is T root three, and the hypotenuse is 2t. If you look at what they've given us, they give us the perimeter of the base, which is 60. All the way around this thing, the distance is 60. There are six sides. So I'll take that 60 and divide by six, and I find that each side of the hexagon is 10. So this length is 10, this length is 10, they are 10 all the way around which means this length is five, as is this length. So I can see that uh, my T, which I need to find the apothem, or the height of that triangle in there, is gonna end up being the apothem, is T root three, it's five root three. And that's what I need to find the area of that hexagon. So let's jot this down right here. The area of the hexagon, a regular hexagon, or any regular polygon, is one-half the apothem times the perimeter. Well, this ends up being one-half, five root three, times the perimeter. And the perimeter we had up here, they gave it to us. It is 60. So we'll simplify that. Uh, half of 60 is 30, and 30 times 5 is 150. So the area of the hexagon is 150 root 3. Now we can use that information uh, to find the total surface area and the volume. Here it goes. The, the total area of all the faces, there are two hexagons. And I just found the hexagon. It was 150 root, 150 root 3. There are two of those. And there are six rectangles. Uh, we figured out that the base of each rectangle was 10 right here. 10, 10, all the way around. So each of those rectangles uh, has a, a base of 10. And a height going up, that's the altitude. This is 35 right here, all the way up and down. The altitude of the prism is the height of a prism. So there's six rectangles, and each rectangle has a base of 10 and a height of 35. So I'll simplify this. The total area will be 300 root 3 plus... 60 times 35, which is 2,100. Remember that we can only add like terms when it comes to square roots, so there's no way I can add 300 root 3 plus 2,100 unless I approximate and make them decimals, and we're not doing that. Uh, do you notice the label? I might not have put that on there, but this is area, so this would be feet squared. Um, and I just punched that in the box in WAMAP exactly as that is, and that would be the answer. The volume is the easier of the two, 
It's the area of the base of a prism times the height or, or altitude of a prism. So it's the area of the hexagon times the distance between the hexagons. Well, we already did the area of the hexagon. It was 150 root 3. And the distance between the hexagons was the 35, the altitude. Altitude is a height, which is 35. And I, I can multiply the two whole numbers, 150 times 35 is 5,250 root 3. And this is volume, so we measure volume in cubes, so this would be feet cubed.